Well, I went to the State Department in 1942 to help fight the war. Then I went to Austria right. for four years. But how did you get to the State Department? Were you invited? Did you seek yeah, the... Yeah, I was an economist, and they, they knew I was an economist. I knew the people at the Brookings Institution, and they knew, I knew a lot of the people who were there. But you were not taken into the Foreign Service, but to the, what, the Research I was, Division? I was not in the Foreign Service, no. I was always in the Civil Service. So, in a research capacity? Uh, well, we had a, a planning for post-war. After, you see, after the First World War, they didn't know what they were up against. And there was a man named Leo Pasbolsky. I don't know if anybody here know him or not, but he was a, a very creative man, Polish, and he set up this planning division. We had uh, a lot of very fine young economists in it, and I, I was given to work on Germany, Austria, France, and Belgium, <laughs> just a few countries yes, like that. Yes. <laughs> and it was your job to plan for what would happen after the war was over? Yeah, yes. that's right. Was it then automatic that they should send you to Austria? No, no. no. How did that happen? Well, there was a man at Cornell named George Warren, and uh, I do pretty well to remember names. Yes, so that's all remarkable. But anyway, uh, he knew about the work I'd done at the Social Security Board and other places, and he told the man who was going to to Germany, uh, to Austria, Vienna, that he ought to take me. That was Jack Earhart, and my friend down here was there with him. We were there together. And <coughs> the, uh, he asked me if I'd go, and I thought that would be an interesting opportunity. That's he an was understatement. He a un very unconventional man and very, very creative. Now, when you went, did you there have... Been, there have been about 20 men who tried to cut me down, and there have been about five or six men who have really helped me a lot. I, dare I ask who some of the men who tried to cut you down? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> There's some of them still around. <laughs> they may be here. 